In the Guggenheim, we see a continuity in the spiral through which the viewers move. The path is linear and fixed, with a shape seemingly fixated on motion. The implied infrastructure is one without breaks. Paradoxically, this prevents continuity in the patron's experience engaging with the displayed art. Museums, ultimately, are built upon symbiotic experiences. Artists, curators, preparators, designers, architects, visitors, the list of players goes on. They all hold different agendas which create conflicts of interest and conflicts of interpretation. Continuity, then, is far from probable. The design of the Guggenheim Museum seems to be congruous with a single journey, a continuous path from start to end, where formalized becomes formulaic. This proposal serves to challenge that re-emphasizing personalization by giving the viewer opportunities to dictate their own path, their own narrative, their own choices. Museums are known for their personalizations and capacities to create wonder, fondness, and inspiration. The first displayed European examples of this ability and desire were introduced to us in the 16th century. These cabinets of curiosities are items that pique the collector's interest. While highly curated and highly personal, there still remains an effort to appeal to an audience. With time, the audience grew. Cabinets went from exhibit to exhibition, and personal became institutional. More of a facet of viewer experience than it was creator intention. Cabinets were collections of objects and ideas. Museums are collections of cabinets. The Ulipo a French literary group formed in the 1960s sought to create works using constrained writing techniques, a workshop for potential literature. To inspire creative freedom, they did it by adding formal constraints within existing text. 100 Million Million Poems, a book by Raymond Canu, published in 1961 contains 10 sonnets, 14 lines each. But every line is on its own strip and can be combined with any from the other nine sonnets. This makes it possible for the reader to flip their way through many different combinations of sonnets, many different paths that they could choose. The constraint is a principle, not a means, for the Ulipo. A principle aiming to uncover potential. The intention is to translate this principle within the Guggenheim by embedding different opportunities within its armature to explore various potentials.